a vlog looking like this. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome to a new vlog. I was actually just about to vlog myself because and I'm Ow! <laughs> Now, we look very dark and depressing. I've actually got a tanned face, but you can't tell because the lighting is so shit. I'm just going to show you these jeans because I showed you them in the last vlog. Yeah, ignore Amy. She's trying on hats for um, Krakow, isn't it? Yeah. Because but I think they're going to off. I think she's going to just show a few of packing clips because she's going away for the weekend. I'm very jealous. Even when you go away all the time. When was the last just, time I went away? Just, she's just a jealous person. When was person. the last time I went away? She's just a jealous person. <laughs> I went to the Cotswolds, but I'm not going to bore for ages. Anyway, yeah, so these are the jeans that oh, I tried yeah. on. No, you went off, did you go away before or after I went to Verona? Last Marrakech. time I went abroad was December. Marrakech? No, Bruges. Well, then you have been away more recently than me. Oh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> these are the jeans. Um, the ones I told you about, the straight leg jeans from Zara. I'm going to wear them today. And I thought I would just do an impromptu... Home bargains haul because I just popped there with mummy. But just quickly, what do we think of this hat? Do I look yeah, like... not this outfit, but no, obviously not. Obviously, I like the hat. This is my hat. Everyone. I thought it was more of a burgundy colour though. I have to say, it's like a mushroom hat. I know, but I thought it was more of like a maroony colour or something. Or no, do you want plum. it? Do you want earmuffs? I've got some white earmuffs mm. that I've got because do you know what I was thinking? If I borrow your earmuffs, if I got makeup well, on them, it's gonna oh, be yeah, really hard. I probably I'm... won't wear makeup around my face when I've got them on, but obviously yeah. if I did for some reason get it on there, it's probably really hard not just where, where are black, I? In the, in the... Oh mine are white, so I could bring your black ones then. Yeah, I don't need to get makeup on them, I don't think of that. Yeah, but they're black so I won't. I would never know. Well you would you see they made makeup on them. Anyway, let's just do a home run talk, so I've actually I'm actually trying to get ready to head out. Look at her dirty fake down, mate. It's a very good one, it's Molly May. Like it's it's Molly May. Um, so, home bargains. Please get Bear by Vogue. Apparently, Bear by Vogue is oh, the best, best fake tan ever. I'm gonna get it. Um, okay, so home bargains. I've got a few foodie bits. Let's this out. We've done it now. <laughs> Um, but the non foodie bits I got, I got a new hot water bottle. Apparently, Ooh. I'm meant to get new hot water bottles like every year, otherwise, they can burst and burn you. That's what happened to um, that George, <gasps> someone I follow. Um, oh, was it George of like blonde hair? Yeah, really, really fit. I think that's how she Georgia. She somehow burnt her son. Yeah, I'm, I saw that. I don't know how she burnt it. Maybe I made that up. But anyway, I reckon, I and also that's nice burn. and soft and it fresh is. anyway. Even if I like to refresh because I use them a lot. I got foot mask. Always get these. Foot scraper. Doing your home. Oh, also, I did um, gel nails in the last clip, and I didn't show you guys the results. I think they look really good. I think for a first attempt, it's they not look bad. Up But the thing is, I didn't have a base and top coat, so I've ordered a base and base coat and top oh, coat that's now. Right. So that's what I'm saying, for that base and top coat, I'm not bad. Oh yeah, did you not know that? No. Have you ever had Biab? No. So I'm oh, doing my own yeah. at home Biab, guys. We're being frugal. Yeah, you said it was what, £13? Pounds, something yeah, like that? Yeah, but, the but then the top coat and the base coat, I've got a different brand, still as good reviews, and it was 15 for both. So I think I might stick with this other brand. I'll, Miley. I'll report back, no, the Miley was the colour for Biab. However, it's like blue and I think you can mix and match. Yeah, well, I hope so. Cause I Tom, oh no, butterflies. Blue is not good. This That's girl linked it and said it was good. Hopefully, it is. What is it? Where's my phone? It was shit. Oh, for fuck's sake. What did I order? Mm. Yeah, blue sky. Yeah. Oh, she said they were good. Mm. Anyway, back to the home bargain school. I got chewable with B12 because, of course. If anything is going to give me energy, it's vitamins that That's cost two pounds as well. Oh, lovely. Um, I got these bendy rollers because I don't know if anyone's seen that viral TikTok oh, yeah, with well, the no, bendy rollers in the socks, and she oh, gives no, I didn't know an amazing socks. blow dry. It's going viral on TikTok at the minute. So I've got these. You can to try. Know how to do it? Okay. I've got another fake tan mirror just because I like to have backup. Why don't you just wash the ones you have? That's why you get velvet ones, is you wash them in a machine. And then no, I am going to wash this one, because it's a nice one. Is that the only velvet one you've ever got, then? No, I've got other velvet ones, but they're so cheap, I think I can't be asked. But this no, is not a cheap one. Like one. That was a pound. Yeah, that's because it's not a reusable one. It's velvet. Anyway, anyway, interruption. I've also got a hair mask. Shut up, I like to do a hair mask once a week. What else did I get? That's what I got more. Awesome. Oh, I've got this book, guys. I finished reading It Ends With Us, and like oh every other God. woman on the planet, I liked it, so I bought the sequel. That's meant to be so good. Um, this is half price on Amazon, seven pounds. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna read this. That'll be my new book. That's that not was... Home Bargains, though. No, that wasn't Home Bargains, guys, I do confess. But yeah, that was it. The rest of it I've got, I got was just food. Oh. Anyway, I need to get ready. I'm starting to think I look like if my hair was inside this hat. You know in the Princess Diaries when she's got all her hair in that yeah, hat? Yeah, and she's like, um, she Professor, up and it's like, you can't wear hats in school. And she's like, 
Yeah, she oh, takes it yeah. off. Whereas mine's a bit more bushy. Don't know if I can pull that off. Yeah, you got like that before. Also, I'm not... Okay, thanks very much. No, I mean, because you have curly hair. So I won't bring this hat then, but I have got earmuffs. Oh, can I just try your black earmuffs on? No. Why? That's why. Oh, it's a point. I want to see what they look like. That's the point. Yeah. And they're obviously easily accessible. To they're not. They're in that fucking cupboard, which is a ball lake to get into. Right. You. No. Well, I'm going to go pack then. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm back from the shops, and I just got one thing that I thought I'd show you guys. It's not from Reese. I just, that's where they put it. Hello, Millie. Um, yeah, there wasn't really anything in the shops that I saw that I liked, so kind of a good thing in the way. The only thing I got, which was, I think was quite overpriced to be honest, was this kind of like nighty, um, can you see? It is in like a pale blue, and this is like a kind of cream colour, and it's like a maxi. I thought I could wear this as like a maxi dress. Um, in the sorry it's quite sheer um, and it was 20 pounds it's from primark got it in extra small um but yeah i just really like this i know it's not really appropriate for the weather we're having at the minute it's bloody freezing but yeah that's all i got i saw um george george and white i think wearing it on their instagram um so i got that there was also a shirt that i really liked but they didn't have in my size it just didn't fit me right um and i'll insert a clip of that or ask amy to I did a film clip of that, it's just like a really nice blue striped shirt. I thought it looked really expensive, but yeah, I didn't have my size. It's Amy, she's still back in. But yeah, that's all I got. So not much show pull, I'm afraid. Um, so I'm gonna get out my jeans, because I'm stuffed. Um, I had a big dinner, and try and get comfy. I think and then probably eat some chocolate in a little bit. Hello, I'm just about to do some packing for Krakow and I thought I would show you some of the things that I am putting in my case. So first thing in here is my big puffer coat from Bershka. It is on my Instagram page and I have one in vlogs before. Um, it's the one that ties in around the waist and it also comes up really high around my neck so I don't have to wear a scarf with it which is great. I have bought scarves as well which I'm now starting to realise I don't actually need. But I might just bring them in case. Second thing is my eye mask. I always sleep with an eye mask. This one is really nice. It's soft. Um, I think it's organic cotton actually. So I definitely need to bring that. Next thing I'm going to bring is this handbag. Which I've been using a lot recently. I think it's real leather but I'm not sure. This big strap can um, go down into a, a shoulder strap if I want it to. But I normally have it long ways and look like crossbody. Um, it's by the brand Charles and Keith. But I did get it on ASOS. So I don't know if I also have it on there, but it was meant to be about 85 and I got it for about, I think 45. Um, this is just the buckle and it pops over like that, but it's really handy and you can fit a lot more in it than I actually thought you could. Next thing is these jogging bottoms. Well, they're more pajama bottoms actually. They're the bottoms for the Girl of Muse pajama set that I showed you. I think I showed you that in the end of one of the recent vlogs, the top of it, which is actually drying from the washing now. Then we have this bag, which is obviously absolutely full up as you can see. So in here I have things like my skincare, um, these are those little things that you put on your wrists when you're washing your face and stuff just to stop the water running down your arms. I've got my my vitamins in there, I've got one of my headbands so that it doesn't get um, wet around my hair as well when I'm washing my face. But yeah, all my skincare is in here which I won't show you just because I have spoken about skincare a lot on these videos already so I won't bore you with the details but yeah, everything is in there and as I use a lot of skincare it is very full up. Sticking with skincare, I've also got these two masks. I always bring sheet masks on holiday no matter where I'm going just because I feel like they're a great thing to put on before you do your skincare and makeup when you're going out in the evening. So I don't always use them every night, but I just like to have a couple with me. We're going for three nights, so I'm going to bring these two. I did actually get these thinking they were the small version to use for my new Foreo that I showed you in the last video. But they were like this, so I'm still going to get used out of them, obviously. But that was a bit of a bit of an error on my part but yeah I'm gonna bring those and just slot them in here these are some cute little white fluffy earmuffs I've never had earmuffs before um this is gonna be so hard to open with one hand but I will try to show you I tried them a little earlier and I felt really really cute I felt like a little snow ice queen princess like Elsa vibes when I was wearing them Oh my god, I'm really struggling to open this. But yeah, they're just really cute and they're really soft. I'm just hoping I don't get any makeup on them, but 
I don't always wear makeup during the day, so it should be okay. But they look really cute, and I thought it'd be nice in contrast with the black coat. Plus, my hair is dark as well. But yeah, they look cute, so I'm going to bring those. So, I've got two scarves in here. This one's obviously a nice brown, sort of camel neutral colour, and then I've got the red one as well. But I'm really struggling to think when I'm actually going to wear these, because this coat does do up all the way up to my chin. So, I really don't know how I'm going to wear this. So, I'm going to pack them just in case. But, I'm not sure how I'm going to actually wear them yet. <laughs> Bit of an obvious one, but I'm obviously going to bring a travel adapter. I've got a couple of these, and they're all, I think, the same, but I just bring them in case for some reason they stop working. I've got loads of spares. Although, a lot of hotels I've stayed in recently, next to the plugs, they normally have a little USB port that you can just plug your phone in straight away, so that's quite handy. Although, I've actually broken my recent phone charger, so I might have to bring a couple of leads just in case they don't work <laughs> so i've got two little zara best tops here one in this lovely gray color which is actually really soft i don't know if zara has changed the way that these are made but this black one is nowhere near as soft as this one and i don't think it's just because i've washed it it seems to be some kind of different fabric but really nice and soft so i've got the gray one and the black ones so that'll just go over everything but they are only vest tops they're not long sleeves so they might not be warm enough but i'm just gonna bring them in case and then here i've got some of the glow mode leggings i go on and on about from shein these are the flared ones okay so this is a normal black top the sleeves are like not really really short cap sleeve but they're just like i guess half arm which i don't normally wear but i quite like it this is from a brand called toco and toco is actually a swimwear brand but they did come out with some what do you call it loungewear and everything seems to be made of this lovely bamboo fabric. I've got this, I've got two of these in black. I didn't realise I ordered two at the time, but I kept them because they're obviously a staple. And I've got a long sleeve somewhere, which is going to go in here as well. But I just wanted to show you the fabric and tell you about it because I really do love this. I went to buy some more the other day, um, but they were the website was closed because they were launching some new swimwear. But I really think that this, this brand is underrated for loungewear. So if you are looking for some that's not too expensive, that's really soft and you know, not see-through and fits really well, I would really recommend these. These are the ones that everyone loves from Abercrombie & Fitch in the Curve Love range. These are the flares. I did get some other ones, but they just didn't fit well or they weren't the right size because I'd never ordered from there before and these are just the ones that I kept. I can't remember what size they are now, but they fit really well and they're really comfortable, so I'm going to get some more in the same size, but obviously different style. This is a bit of a rogue entry, but these are some new sunglasses I got from... Amazon they're like a Versace dupe I think I wore them the other day when it was really sunny in London but I don't think I'm gonna need them in Krakow so I don't know whether to bring them or not but then I feel like it's not really much effort to just bring them in case so I think I will so this is the hair curler I'm bringing I won't probably use this more than maybe once or twice but this is my favorite hair curler Holly had it and I tried it and then bought my own one because it was so good it's just the Babyliss oh my god I cannot for the life of me think what this is called but it's the one that normally goes out of stock and comes back in because it's so popular and I, I just like it because it's a large barrel so it's like soft waves rather than tight curls I am also going to bring these little red Victoria's Secret slippers, which I've had for such a long time. They've lasted me so well, um, just for walking around in the hotel room so my feet don't get cold. Because, I mean, it shouldn't be cold indoors literally anywhere we go, really. It shouldn't be. But just in case, because there's nothing worse than when you want your slippers because your feet are cold and you don't have them. So I'm going to bring those. I've then got this jumper, which is actually from H&M. I've worn it I can't even tell you how many times, so many times. It's really, really long. Um, it comes to, it comes long enough for me to actually wear this as a jumper dress. So I wouldn't wear it as a jumper dress just on this particular trip, but I have worn it with like knee high boots before and it does look really nice. And because it's so baggy and oversized, it's like, it doesn't matter how you're feeling in yourself, you just feel nice in it anyway. So I'm definitely gonna bring this. This is my new favorite jumper i'd always just kind of wear over leggings i don't know if i'm going to wear this out and about like when we're actually going somewhere where we're going to take our coats off i might just wear it underneath my coat as a layer when we're around touristy things that are outside just you know to keep warm but i really love that it's obviously massively oversized which i love i feel like it's very retro and like 90s i mean it's technically 70s i guess i don't know but yeah i love this and it was from asos i got two pairs of thermal socks tonight actually i got these from m s I mean, I don't know if I'm going to wear them, but it is meant to be freezing, so I, I'd rather have thermal socks than normal socks. I just wanted to make sure I had some actual good quality socks in case my toes are freezing, because that is often the case. So I'm going to bring those. This is my favourite little hat. Um, it's actually really nice soft fleece inside. I got this on Amazon, God knows how long ago. It did come with a bobble on the top, but I didn't really think I suited that, so I just took that off. I actually wore this hat, I think, in the first ever YouTube video we uploaded, me and Holly. I think it was at Hampton Court Palace. Yeah, it was. A random one, but I'm also bringing this little lint roller because I've seemed to find that all my clothes need lint rolling every time I wear them, so I'm bringing that. 
I am actually going to bring two pairs of gloves. Obviously, they've got these red ones, which I thought would go with the red scarf if I wore them. And then I've got these brown ones. I don't know where the other one has gone, but it's somewhere in the pile of clothes that I'm putting in this suitcase. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd wear the brown every day and then just maybe one day wear these. Bit boring, but these are the thick socks that I was talking about bringing, which are the New Balance ones. They're the ones that I feel like have withstood the wash the most. Um, I used to just buy always cheap socks from Primark all the time. And now I feel like I need to buy like New Balance or some kind of sports sock all the time because they're the only ones that wash and stay well. I'm also going to bring these protein bars. I tried the Banoffee one of this today and I really didn't like it, but these are the other flavours I've got that I haven't tried. I probably won't eat these, but I just like to have them on me in case I get really hungry or we haven't got time for breakfast before we go on a tour. On the day we're going to see outfits, I don't know what time I'm getting picked up yet and if it's about 9am, I'm not going to want to go out the hotel, try and find something to eat and then go to get the tour. And we don't have breakfast included in our um, hotel booking. So I just thought this would be something really quick and easy to bring on the go if I really need to until we get something when we're there. So I'm going to bring those. I'm bringing these leather trousers. These are my favourite ones from Misguided. They're like a flare style or maybe they're more like a straight leg. I'm not really sure, but they do float at the bottom. So I guess they are flare leg, but they just they fit really nicely. And they're just kind of like a go to because it's easy like to dress up at night time. Um, I have put in here a Stradivarius long sleeved kind of crop top um, which goes really nicely with this and it's just such an easy thing to wear in the evening because when we're going out in the evening for dinner I think it's a Monday and Tuesday night so there won't be probably loads of people really dressed up I wouldn't have thought so I'll probably wear that one night with some like gold jewellery or something so I'm going to bring that and I've also got the exact same top as this one but in this like mushroomy colour which I'm going to pack I don't really know why if I spill something on that I can wear this you know that kind of thing one thing with me is, if I like something that's basic, I basically get it in every single colour. It's the same with the Zara Best tops that are under here, and it's also the same with these Stradivarius tops, which I really love. I've also got this in black, but I'm just not bringing it in black, because I'm obviously wearing the black leather trousers, so I'm trying to, you know, change it up a little bit. <laughs> in here is a brand new item. I haven't worn it. It's from AYM. So, similar to the black top I showed you, where the sleeves are not really short, but they're like halfway down the arm, just above the elbow. This is such a nice top. Like, I wish I'd got this in the long sleeve now, to be honest, just because I think I probably would wear that more. But this is the Bamboo Born T-shirt in the shade Natural, because obviously it's not white, it's not cream, it's just like a, I guess, natural shade. But it's more cream than white, that's for sure. Got this in medium. It's a tad tight on me, but I think over time washing it and stuff, it'll be fine. It's bamboo, so it's sustainable, but like I said, I'm more bothered about the fact that it's really soft and washes well. And even though it's a light colour, it is not see-through, which is so important. This is my makeup bag. I don't really have a lot in here. I don't think I've actually ever really spoken to you about what makeup I use, to be honest, but I guess I can kind of show you now. This is the Chanel bronzer that everyone loves. I think you just use light or, or dark, and I got the light. And I use that with this, this little brush, which is probably not the best brush to use with it. I don't actually know, but it's just what works for me, so I use that. I always use the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I usually use vanilla, which I know is a really light shade, and everyone tends to use custard, but this one just works best for me. If I have got a fake tan on my face, though, it is a bit light. That is the only thing. Um, but then I still feel like custard isn't light enough because obviously I want a bright under eye. I have also bought recently the Rodeal Banana Low Lighter that everyone loves, but I've not actually tried it yet, so I can't tell you what I think. I also have this iconic highlight, uh, this iconic blusher, which I don't always use, but if I am going to use one, I will use a liquid one. I like this one. This one is shade Powder Pink. I also use the iconic highlighter that everyone uses. This is the original one, I think. It's not the dark one, just because obviously I'm normally quite pale skinned, so I always use this one. I use this setting spray, Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, which I really love. I've not got a lot left, but um, I want to get the one that's like a coconut scent they do. I don't know if it's still in stock, but I really love this setting spray and I would repurchase it. And then if I'm really feeling like I want to do something extra, I also use this, which again, I haven't got a lot left of. I don't know if you can really see, but it's the Pixie Glow Mist and it's got um, argan oil in it. It's like basically a nourishing mist, but I feel like it does give me a little summing summing when I do my makeup. So I like to put that over the other setting spray when it's dried. So in here is like literally the most random bag ever. I've got all my body stuff in here, like deodorant, body oils, creams I use, my hairbrush. I've got me medicines, it's like strepsil things. I've got... Um, peppermint oil capsules which I use if I've like 
eaten a bit too much and a bit bloated. Um, I've got germaline if I'm going to, I don't know, cut myself, which I hope I won't. Um, what else have I got in here? I've got under eye patches. These are the best under eye patches ever. I really, really like this brand, Peter Thomas Roth. I've used other ones he's made, like the gold ones and the green tea ones. But this is the best one, 100%. It actually works, in my opinion. And these are the only ones I would repurchase. In fact, I've already repurchased them. I've got some in the drop upstairs. There's only one more, like, dose or one more... Uh, pair of patches in here for me to use so I'll bring them with me. I've got Vaseline in there, I've got plasters, I've got my collagen sachets. These are the ones I'm using at the moment, absolute collagen. Um, I think this is the raspberry flavour. So last kind of things, I'm wearing these New Balance to the airport and I'll probably wear these one or two of the days that we are actually walking around in Krakow. And then I'm also going to bring these boots, these are from New Look. Um, I've had these for a while actually, I think Kate Hutchins linked them originally. They come up just below my knee and then, I don't know, I just feel like they're kind of, they give me like steel toe cap boot vibes in terms of supporting your foot and just being structured and whatever. But I really love those and I thought I could wear them with basically anything if I don't want to wear my trainers one night, I want to be a bit more smart. We are about a 20, 25 minute walk from the centre of Krakow from our hotel. So I don't really want to bring any heel boots, but normally I would do that because I've got a couple of brown pairs that I like. But I'm just going to sit with these for this particular trip. I am just now realising that I ended the last video in this exact same position. Literally looking exactly the same as I do right now. But I'm in bed, about to go to sleep. I should have gone to sleep ages ago, but I was editing this video. The next video you see will be me in Krakow and all those vlogs. I will see you in Krakow.